Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autograph 2000 here And in this video we've got five autographs through the mail, TTMs and we're also, and I'm also going to show you some baseball action. And let's get to it. Our first return is from Dallas, Texas, and we have got Charles Hudson. He signed two of two in 167 days. He had a career record of 50 and 60, with a 4.14 ERA. He played seven years, appeared in 208 games. He played from 83 to 89. He played with the Phillies, Yankees, and Tigers. Um, in 87, he went 11 and seven with a 3.61 ERA. And he also had six complete games that year. Charles Hudson. And if you do send to Charles Hudson, he only signs a maximum of two. All right, our next return is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And we've got Gene Garber. He signed four of four in 26 days. He had a career record of 96 and 113 with a 3.34 ERA. He also had 218 saves. He played 19 years, appeared in 931 games. He played from 69 to 88. And he played with Pittsburgh, Kansas City, Philadelphia, and Atlanta. His best year was in 1982 when he went 8 and 10 with a 2.34 ERA. And he had a career high 30 saves. He finished 19th in the MVP, MVP voting. And he also finished 7th in the Cy Young voting. And I had this scorecard, and I just figured, hey, I'll send it to. Send it to somebody, and I decided to send it to Gene Garber. And I can remember when I was younger, when the Braves used to play on TBS, I, have, I saw Gene Garber pitch many, many, many games on TV. All right, our third return is from Oakland, California. And we have got Steve Bry. He signed three of three in 22 days. He had a career batting average of 258 with 30 home runs, 193 RBIs. He played nine years, appeared in 697 games. He played from 70 to 78. And he played with Minnesota, Milwaukee, and Pittsburgh. His best year was in 1975 when he hit nine, nine home runs, drove in 34, and batted 252. Steve Bry. And I am going to pause here and show you some game action. Roman Anthony, he is the number nine prospect for the Boston Red Sox. Um, I thought he was he was the leadoff man, and I thought he had a pretty sweet swing, looked pretty good at the plate. He reached base almost every time. I think there was one game, one um, at bat he didn't reach. 
And also, if you watched my short that I posted, my last short, short video, um, that was him running the bases. All right, our next return comes to us from Santa Ana, California. And we have got Terry Humphrey. He signed three of three in 14 days. He had a career batting average of 211 with six home runs, 85 RBIs. He played nine years, appeared in 415 games. He played from 71 to 79. And he played with Montreal, D Detroit, and California. Um, his best year was in 1977 when he hit two home runs, drove in 34, and he batted 227. Again, that is Terry Humphrey. All right. And our final return comes to us from Orlando, Florida. We have got Manny Trio. He signed four of four in seven days. He had a career batting average of 263 with 61 home runs, 571 RBIs. He played 17 years, appeared in 1,780 games. He played from 73 to 89, and he played with Oakland, um, the Cubs, Phillies, Indians, Expos, Giants, and Reds. He was a four-time All-Star. He was an All-Star in 71, 81, or 77, 81, 82, and 83. His best year was in 77 when he hit seven home runs, knocked in 57, and batted 280. He was a three-time Gold Glover a two-time Silver Slugger. He won two World Series. He won one in 74 with the A's and another with the uh, Phillies in 1980. He was also the 1980 NLCS MVP. And he is in the Philadelphia Phillies Wall of Honor. And he also signed right there on this sweet looking Cubs card. So now we've got three autographs on there and we need to check out who we're gonna to send to next. That is Manny Trio. And that guys is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for watching. Uh, if you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.